G'day, it's Rob here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, a simple little trick, well, tip, I suppose I should say, that uh, it's probably my only half decent workshop tip I've really got. But, uh, and it's so simple that most of the experienced people will already know this one. But for the newbies, if you haven't thought of it, um, yeah, I'll show you something that you can uh, use in the workshop that's, that's cheap. It can do a multitude of things. It's handy. And I find it indispensable. So what could that be? What could be that cheap, handy and indispensable? Well, here it is. It's a roll of your humble toilet or bog paper. Something that every house has got. Well, I would think so. And OK, I know what you're thinking, but no, we're not going to use it in the workshop for its intended use. But it is mighty handy stuff. And uh, it's something that I just couldn't uh, get by without on a daily basis. So, what can you use toilet paper for in the workshop? Stay tuned and I'll show you. Right, use number one, centre boring. Um, whenever you're centre boring, the chances are that <laughs> you'll find all of the rubbish, all of the cuttings that your machine out of your job will always migrate into the centre of the, of the chuck. For some reason, more seems to go into the chuck than out of the chuck. Well, it seems that way to me. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to clean out the chuck, strip it down, and it's a major exercise, which you can do without. And I've seen people on forums go, oh, you know, how can I keep the rubbish out of the chuck, you know, and uh, talked about making up foam rubber pads to go in there and all sorts of stuff like this. Well, this is where your toilet paper comes in handy. What you do is you get yourself a piece of toilet paper. Before you put the job in, you get it close on the jaws. Stuff your toilet paper in the in the jaws enough that you just level with the uh, the face of the chuck. Put your job in. Nip up your your chuck. Bring in your boring bar to the end of the job. You've got your uh, carriage stop, set that so that you're not going to go into the actual toilet paper and you're good to go. You can then machine in and out to your heart's content. The crap can't go in the chuck. And when you're finished, um, you just take out your job, get the vacuum cleaner in there and suck the paper and the crap and everything out and you're good to go. Chuck should be pretty much squeaky clean. Just wind the jaws out a little bit so that... Uh, Anything that does sort of hang in there can be sucked out. But basically, that's a good way to keep uh, your chuck jaws clean and all you want is a bit of crap paper. So, that's use number one. Use number two, and probably the most important use, the biggest use for it, is keeping your lathe clean. Now, uh, OK, people looking at my lathe can see that there's dirt and rubbish up the back of the... Um, the shield at the rear that's uh, mainly grindings. I do a lot of grinding on this lathe. And maybe I should clean it off, but if you look at the lathe, you look at the, all the slides, the dovetails, the, uh, the bed, you'll see that it's always squeaky clean on this lathe. I always wipe it down several times a day and then I oil it regularly. And particularly when you're grinding, you, you must uh, cover up, keep things clean. So, um, as far as cleaning the lathe goes, in my opinion, um, there's nothing better than, than the old toilet paper. You just bloody rip a bit off and uh, just wipe down the ways. The beauty of the toilet paper is that it picks up grit and cuttings. I mean, you see people on, on the internet and they use a paintbrush, you know. I mean, look at that. That's got all the crap in the world in it. They use the paintbrush to wipe off the lathe. Well, I mean, that's OK if you're only just doing metal work like uh, machining but if you're grinding that's going to be absolutely useless all it's going to do is push the grindings around the place you want something that will pick up all of the crap grit grindings whatever you got and even the oil fresh oil so you'll find that the paper will clean up 
the lathe beautifully and when you're finished you can throw it in the bin you haven't got dirty oily gritty rags hanging around that you're then going to pick up and reuse on something else I mean I absolutely detest that I always have an oily rag around purely oily rag to wipe over the lathe and keep chucks and stuff like that from going rusty but on the ways I just oil it with autom automotive engine oil light oil and once again it's all done to keep the uh, keep the uh, lathe clean uh, using a light oil will flush away any rubbish which may get under the carriage <clears throat> and uh, it, uh, it certainly uh, will do the job I mean if it can do the job on a mo on a car engine well it's going to do the job on a lathe believe me and on a small lo small lathe like this you don't want heavy whey oil um, not in my opinion it's okay with the big lathes but small lathes go for the light oil and I'm diverging but once again main use toilet paper here wiping it down picking up all the grit and crap and uh, I mean it will just pick it up dead easy and you just toss it in the bin and you're good to go so most important use in my opinion use number two so what else can you do with toilet paper well anybody that's working in a workshop playing with sharp tools and even sharper metal um, at some stage they're going to cut themselves and uh, if you're like me where you never seem to learn um, <laughs> you continue to try and deburr things with your finger when you know you shouldn't um, yeah you're going to cut your finger and here we have a cut finger well it looks like a cut finger so yeah while the paramedics are coming to uh, take you away uh, you can wrap your worm with a bit of toilet paper and uh, it'll stop the blood flow and it's clean and hygienic certainly better than some dirty old rag mmm yummy tastes like ketchup well it actually it was ketchup I mean you didn't think I was going to cut my finger just for the video did you okay next next thing so there are the three major uses for it fourth use is painting whenever you're using paint glue silicon any of that stuff um, it's handy to clean up with uh, with a bit of toilet paper rather than use up your good rags on it I mean because the rag supply is not really endless it doesn't seem to be um, I'm always trying to conserve my rags so yeah toilet paper much better uh, you can throw it in the bin you don't need to have a big hunk of rag you can use it with petrol and metho um, to clean up your paint or your glue or your silicon and uh, yeah, it's good stuff. It's something I couldn't be without in the shed and I seem to go through about a roll a week pretty much in the shed with it. I'm always using this stuff and uh, you're always cleaning up, particularly with a metal lathe, as I said, for cleaning your lathe, this is indispensable and yeah, you can block off things, um, stop cuttings getting into areas and it's really useful stuff. So there you go, that's my only really, really good tip <laughs> for workshop use that, uh, that I've got. I thought about doing this video for a long time and I thought, oh, you know, it's so simple. People are just going to go, oh, this is crap. Well, pardon the expression. But uh, there you go. Like it or hate it. That's, uh, that's it from me for now. So see you next time.